That's a slur. Yo, that's tuck and roll. Oh, you gotta find them? Oh no. God damn it. Oh no. We might have to skip this one. <laughs> Hug me! Bring it in! Woo! That boy ain't right. Like, honestly, I'm having a good time with this game. Yeah, I'm having it's a... It's just the camera is a fucking villain. Yeah. Like... It's like I said, it's the N64 villain, the camera. It's true. Like, look at this. Stay there. Okay, how do I put it on lock? I need super no, jump. turn off moving. Still camera. <laughs> okay. That is, looks very still... That's a... That's a... That's a, that's a Jay Sully still frame. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <laughs> oh! Didn't like that. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. There you go. No, I meant I just I didn't like that jump. I need super jump. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. That was so fucking hot. The ice got so hard. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring it in. Oh. Woo. Sounds like Sonic drowning. Basically. Ah. Uh, the da 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 Song of the Hedgehog 1 is really hard. Yeah, it is. All of them are. Sonic 2 is not. Sonic, Sonic 2 3 is the is most fun. Fucking hard. 3 is hard. Sonic Adventure? Yeah. Sonic Adventure is great. I love Sonic Adventure. Hey, look, we found him. <laughs> Hug me! Boy. Never fear, my boy! The cavalry has arrived! That's what I imagine he sounds like. Now we just need to find the others. Shut up. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. you must reach the rest of us. Can I, can I go do uh, it? Okay, cool. Can you hug me? Bring it in. Woo! That boy ain't right. Remember, I remember one time, me and Tyler were hanging out. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, oh, dude. I don't like spiders, but I would fuck the shit out of that spider. Same. Who do you think is hotter, that spider or the spider from James and the Giant Peach? James spider James from, Peach. yeah, James and the Giant Peach. I think the, the spider. Huh, Rich, look up this. Look up the pic. The, the spider from James the Giant Peach. Tell me that isn't like every mass art student. It's funny because I know mass art students. All right, look for it. I'm definitely right on this one. Super jump. How was it dirty boy? No, like, 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 look up the image. Oh yeah, Miss Spider. Now oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I just didn't remember the name of the character. Yeah. I think her name was Laura Razapan. <laughs> or something. I don't know. All the students are talking about that. Yeah, that looks like every mass art student. Right? Yeah. Let's see her. It's true. It's true. Oh my god. But she was. She was French. She was French. She was French. Yo, what about fucking. Honestly, Tyler, that kind of looks like your sister. What about Charlotte, uh. What, what's it called? Charlotte, uh. Webb. What about that spider? Oh, that's spider Charlotte's actually. Webbs? Charlotte's yeah. Webb. Did you fuck Charlotte from Charlotte's Webb? No, yeah, that was like a real spider. Yeah. Did I fucking stutter? That's a real spider. You know they made a Charlotte's I Webb to 2? Climb my urethra. They, they, there's a movie, Charlotte's Webb 2, and it has nothing to do with Charlotte. Yeah. I feel like Charlotte's Web and Babe are in the same universe. Can I just say real quick, Charlotte's Web was completely killed for me because the teacher that taught made us read the book I fucking hated. You know what movie I loved? Babe remember, 2, uh, Big in the City? That was a good one. No, but do you remember Animal Farm? Animal oh Farm is God. a fucking great movie Animal and Farm a great is book. amazing. Like the original, like, you know, 60s one or 50s one? I'm talking about the fucking straight-to-TV fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good, bro. With the live, like the live action. With the one? live action. Didn't one? Me, oh, I hate didn't that me, one. Didn't me and your sister fucking make you a um? Yep. You a... guys had to find it. I still have it. So it, it doesn't exist like freely. Oh. But like, if you can find it, it's fucking great. And they found me it and burned it to a, a disc. And it's just, it's so good. It's so good. When's uh, the last time you watched it? Uh, a couple years ago. Okay. I mean, I will say, I genuinely do like the book, Animal Farm. Like, When was the last time you watched it? High school? Me? No, yeah. the book? I, I never watched it. Wait, you never watched it? You no. You borrow it? No, yeah. I'd watch it with you. Okay. And well, I guess we're gonna have a little movie night. Yeah, if you wanna, like, get in bed and cuddle. Yeah, make some pop-pop. Shutter mm -hmm. and cuddle. For pop -pop. No, we'll go to Cutters. Cutters. Cut my fuck. Like have you movies. had Cutters yet in, Na in Nashua, New Hampshire? No. Cutters Cookies? 
Oh, I think I know. Dude, they are so fucking bomb. I can tell you one thing: they're not as good as Goodnight Fatties in Salem. Probably not, but Goodnight Fatties is the best. Nothing in New Hampshire is ever as good. <laughs> I I have to be honest. Have you, so Goodnight Fatties? They do a weekly cookie, and they have three different cookies, and they only do it uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. And they're only open a few hours, but you can go there. They have, like, an ice cream bar. They have a milk bar, and you just go there and get cookies. That's fucking... They're delicious. They ha uh, Cutter's has this one cookie where it's, like, a chocolate chip, mm -hmm. and they, like, they put, like, whipped cream on it and, like, like um, like frosting, mm -hmm. and they crunch, like, Oreos onto it, Yep. and they have Sprinkies. Dude, don't to, call them sprinkies. To die for. Uh, I don't care. To, to die, die for, for, dude. I heard that. I heard that calling uh, sprinkles the other other word is 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 uh, problematic. The J word. Yeah. Really? Mhm. Mm Why? I heard it's racial. Huh. That's that's very word. That's wild. Isn't that just a person's name? Is uh, Richard? Am I making this up? Let me see. Say it again. You, so you know, Do you know sprinkles. the other word for yes. sprinkles? What, sprinkles? Say it. <laughs> no, the other one. Say it. Come on. For sprinkles? Yeah. Yeah. Tinkles. The, the chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate. That's the best way to say it. Oh, I don't know actually. Uh, I'm stupid. Fucking, I, I did not know. Uh, my friend has a name. It's, you know the lead singer of The Doors? Oh, J Jim Morrison? Yeah. 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 Take, take Fuck the... it, I'm just gonna say Jimmy's, okay? Jimmy's, oh. You should've just said condoms. Super true, oh. true. You said Jimmy's earlier. Which makes oh. you a racist, Mark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, so, so... I remember Josh made me a poster. It was vanilla ice cream with Jimmy's, and it was like vanilla ice as like ice cream, and like Jim Morrison was like sprinkled all over Stupid. it. I thought it was I thought it was good, haha -ha humor. It was like the poster he made of uh, two fucking ugly fuckers. He made he made one of Dominique a poster of Dominique Wilkins doing a, like a dunk, and it just said touchdown. Yeah, that's a good one. Sonic for hire. That's a fucking great web series. Yeah. That is such a great web series. Oh, hey, is that still going? The baby. No, it's uh, over. Yeah. Is that even online anymore? It's still online. I need because Machinima it. deleted everything. Yeah, but they, they were supposed to do another channel. Yeah, okay. There's definitely re uploads for something like that. Well, some of the some of those old shows I couldn't find. Like I can't find Bite Me. Well, you know we're gonna find Sonic Wait, Fire right now. I forgot about that show Bite was me. fucking funny as hell. You know what show sucked that everyone loved? What? Was uh, a YouTube web series? Was um, fucking Video Game High School. I was yeah. talking about that the other day with, uh, with Josh. That show sucked. Dude, they got I the like whole... It. I thought it was good. Oh yeah, it's upload. It's re-uploaded on a lowbrow. Okay. So. The other... Another one that I... One that I loved... I think, Tyler, if you went back now and watched it, you would like... You would like... Be in love with it was Captain S... That was the Captain Sega one. Yeah. yeah it was really Captain N. Well, yeah, it was making fun of like Captain N and also like every all like Super '90s sitcoms where it has like an opening kind of like Full House, where they're like doing something like like mundane and then like on the camera like, oh hey, oh hey, and then, like, anytime oh. like and like yeah, I think it's a really good like uh, throwback to '90s like TV. Oh yeah. I and I also like the. And for some, for like no reason, like the soundtrack is banging. There he is. There's the big fucker. Come here. Oh, you know it's Brad Garrett. Hello. No way. Mhm. Mm Everybody hates fucking. What's that show? Everybody loves Raymond. Right? Everybody loves Raymond. He was also in that show Till Death. I, I remember. I remember. I got you all into Till Death for a brief period of time. Which one was that? Remember? So it's Brad Garrett. He's like a. He's like a school teacher, and he's been married for a few years. And he and then like fucking um, who's the one? It's the guy who fucks stuff for his mom and his another, another girl just got married, and like they live next door, and then hijinks ensue. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, it had like one really good, great like first season, and then like the rest of it sucks ass. But I'm the first just, season is like I'm really good. I'm looking for these little fucking roly polyolies. Can you say that now, or is that racist too? 
Uh, it's uh, Roly Poly Oli. Remember, do you remember that show? Roly Poly Oli. It's Roly Poly Oli. Okay, wait, I, like, wait. They have signs. All these things sound There's signs in familiar. this game. Let me know if you guys see a sign. What is this show? It's Roly Poly Oli. Shows the beetle. Yeah, it's that's that's uh, Ringo. I'm watching this movie tonight. Which one? Roly Poly Oli. Are you? No, you gotta watch the documentary with Sam Hard. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah! That show was great. Movie or what whatever. Was yeah, Roly Poly. That was Roly. great. That's Roly Poly Oli. Didn't they have a weird fucking house? It was in the shape of Roly Poly Oli. Like they had to kill the yeah they had to kill a teapot or something. Oh wait. Remember remember right? Bear in the Big Blue House? Yep. I don't know who Good was this Disney or was this DreamWorks, but I just thought of another great movie movies. that I actually really liked. Which one? Meet the Robinsons. Ugh. Oh, you didn't like that? Trash. Yeah. Fuck you. Rich is also like, you know what's the best anime movie? Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's funny you say that because I hate that movie. Uh, yeah. Until you watch it again. <laughs> no. This is almost as good as Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> hey, I like Meet the Robinsons a lot. Peabody okay. and Sherman is fucking A plus in I, I watched you guys Meet the Robinsons for the first time in my life like a few years ago, right? Yeah. And I called the twist in the first four minutes. Okay. I was like, that buck tooth motherfucker is going to be the little kid. And it was. Dude, you know what's fucked up is I, I, I don't know if it's just because I watch movies all the time. But you every call twists. Every, who, every whodunit, yep. I know whodunit. Yeah, me too. Like, I, I saw that's a, a pretty fair criticism. I've seen, like, I watched Scream, right? Yeah. The new one. And I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. Uh, or I will. Depending on what you guys say. Oh, do um, it. I don't sorry. care. If you if you haven't seen Scream, stop watching this video. Go watch it. Yeah. So, in the beginning, I, I remember I saw one of the girls, like, characters is played by the girl from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. One of the, not like, the Manson people. I'm like, okay, red flag number one. And then, and then like, the camera holds on her for an extra, like, five seconds. And I'm like, okay, so she's a killer. And then, and then like, the, the boyfriend shows. I'm like, all right, well, he's obviously now also a killer. Because he's the boyfriend character. And then I thought when I sat there, I'm like, no, it can't be them. Because that's too fucking obvious. Yeah. And then, and so I'm like, yeah, this movie's going to be subversive. They're going to they're gonna change it up. And I'm like, okay. So I pick two other characters. And then those two other characters die. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and then it became who I originally picked. And I'm like, oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's Yo. tough. And then, and then it happened again when I when I saw Death on the Nile, and I was just like, "Huh." Well, the camera really held on that that character for a long time, and she's also the only one with a true motivation to kill the character. Is it Gal Gadot? No, Gal Gadot's the one who got killed. Oh. Good. And I'm like, it's a good movie. I'm like, is it gonna be the husband and the ex girlfriend? And then I'm like, no, it can't be. And then the ending, it's the husband and the ex-girlfriend. The ex-girlfriend who's been stalking them for a year. Like, for uh, not every year, a few months. And I'm like, huh. Whoa, look at this. Good yeah. night, sleep, you, you spin me right round, round baby, baby, right round. round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You know what's a really That song is amazing. You know what's a really good bit in a, in a movie that no one really mentions? Is uh, in the wedding singer. The uh, oh, that movie. There's the the bit where um, well, first off, the best bit in that movie is the Steve Buscemi being drunk. I, I found him. Is the being drunk at the wedding? In the wedding singer. Yeah, and then there's also that part when he's like, when he's like, "Hey, wedding singer!" And he's outside the club. And he goes like, "Ah!" And he falls. <laughs> I'm like, that's. It's good, but I like my, the other bit that I, I was referring to is the bit when um, George goes up and sings, "Do you really want to hurt me?" But then Adam Sandler doesn't go in quick, fast enough, so they he, they play the song again, and then he's not in again, and they play it again, and then he, it's the only song this guy knows is this one fucking song that no one likes. Oof. Do you really want to make me cry? Okay, I think I got the thing that I need. That's fine. Watch this. Do you guys see Ghostbusters? I don't like Ghostbusters. I know. I know. Right, jo Tyler, did you see it? Nope, and I don't plan to because it looks bad. Busted, man. I heard a lot of people liked good. it, though. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oops, it was bad. Why was it bad? So it has it does not. So like the thing about these stupid fucking. They try to make it so reboots. it's like nostalgia bait. And that's it's the whole thing. It's nostalgia bait, but the thing is, it doesn't have the tone of the original movies. The original movies have like that 1980s like no great crazy comedy, like it's wild ridiculous. like fantasy comedy. This one feels like an indie drama. It looks like it was made for people that are like, hey, I remember Ghostbusters. That was pretty good as a kid, but they don't care about Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That have but, kids. But here's yeah. like the here's, yeah, the oh, other thing about it is like. When they try to do the tone of the original, it comes off like shitty. So like, there's a character, a kid, and his name is Podcast. Guess what he does? He listens to podcasts. No, he has a podcast. Oh, cool. That's his thing. And then, and then, like, they don't organically bring. They do it once, and I thought that that was gonna set up that they were gonna start bringing in the Ghostbusters organically. So that when they call, like, she calls Ray's occult bookshop, and like, that's the first time you see, like, you see an actual Ghostbuster. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, they're gonna bring them back organically, but like they don't. After Ray hang, like they get, get, get disconnected from Ray, they they all just show up at the end in costume, knowing exactly where they are. Isn't Ant Man in that movie? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd is excellent in the film. Well, Paul Rudd's excellent in everything. It, yeah, yeah, he's in. I, I've never seen Paul Rudd's never done me wrong except in uh, Halloween Six. Even in Ant Man, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Can I hit this? No, fucker? that reminds me though. What you were just talking about reminds me of um, what was it? No, I don't know what your guys' opinion on on this movie was with the uh, first Zombie Land. It was good. It's good. Okay, I like the movie. I watched a lot. it yesterday. All right, I like the movie a lot, but it's um, I remember I, that was like, not the first horror movie, but like kind of like, but mm, definitely like uh, it's not a horror movie really, but it was kind of like what really got me into horror just because it was just kind of a fun movie and it was about something creepy. It's like zombies. So, but when I saw Zombie Land 2, it was basically what you had just described about um the uh about um Ghostbusters. Yeah. It was like a movie made for people that remembered the original Zombie Land 10 years ago, over 10 years ago now actually. And yeah. It's it's like I I I'm disliking this whole thing that films are doing where it's just like, "Hey, remember that thing?" Well, we're going to give you that thing that remember where, that where thing. Where they're like, everybody hates reboots. Let's just make redoes. Yeah. Redoes. It's like, let's, let's, let's just like bring in like one thing from the past and then like, that will be the thing. You know what I mean? To like some shitty games that sucked ass. Like, like the, like the whole, like the, I don't know if you saw the new Jurassic World trailer. Nope. But like they've made two films that had barely anything to do with the first Jurassic Park movie. And now they're like, and like no one liked it. Right? Like, well, they liked the first one, but they hated the second one. Yeah. So now, like, oh, how, well, how are we going to win him back? Oh, is this role Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, and Sam Neill in it? And it's like, why weren't they there from the get? Why do we have to have fucking Chris Pratt fucking... He says, hey, I'm Mario. To be like, hey, my son is disabled. And I hate him. Oh, I wish Chris he was dead. Is Pratt playing Mario in this new Mario movie? Yep. Yeah. I keep forgetting that's in production, or it's going to be released. Yeah, I like when he goes, wahoo! That's hey, my favorite part in the movie. Real quick, why didn't they get like the guy that actually voices Mario in that movie? <laughs> Fuck if I know. He's he probably can't friend. actually act. Oh, what? No, he could definitely do the voice though. I don't know. With Mario, it's such a basic ass character. But but it's it's that company that isn't gonna let it be yeah. its thing. Mario, it's gonna it's you it's. You can stop me from leaving the way. It's gonna be the people who made the Despicable Me movies. It's not gonna yeah, be. It's not Nintendo. Yeah, it's not like a, it's not like a, right, like a reputable company. Like what? it's like they made the fucking the Grinch, dude. Like yeah. they don't know what the fuck they're doing. What do you think of the Wait, original? Did you see Despicable the Grinch movie? movie? Yeah, it was bad. What was it? Was, was it good? No, it was bad. Imagine, imagine the the, the Jim Carrey one without any of the good shit in it. Well, all right, since we're talking about Despicable Me, what do you think of the original Despicable Me? Uh, it's not good. Not good. I'm okay. sorry if I'm still playing this. I'm having a really fucking fun Dude, time. Dude, we're almost two hours into this. This is great. This this game's actually fucking awesome. Like, it looks if like you guys it. want me to stop playing, no, I totally we're good. will. But like, I'm having a great fucking old. No, time. this is a good. This is this is fine. That's a good ass game, bro. Um, like I, that's the the one thing Disney Interactive should have kept making games. Even like the the games for PS2, like G Force and shit, were great. Fucking G-Force. I loved G-Force. I hate G-Force so much. I got a handy in the back of yeah. G-Force. Oh my god. Hates it. Yeah. Huh? 
I was like, G, you're like, G-Force, is, G-Force sucks. I'm like, yeah, and it's not even popular, and G- Richard hates it. That's how fucking bad it is. Oh, my fucking God, you fucking, co- like, cocksucker. Wait, you want to hear, hear a throwback? <laughs> Do you want me to hate you guys with a little throwback? Cats and dogs. I was just about to fucking say that. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate oh, that movie, too. I love cats and dogs. Well, the thing is, is because they make the cats look like the bad guys, and I'm more of a cat person. That's fine. You're wrong. Fuck you. What, what's that other one? Want another throwback, Chandler? Cats what? are awesome. Let's see it. One, one, three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. All right. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Baby Geniuses. I wouldn't have guessed Now, that. Baby Geniuses is pretty good. I like Baby Geniuses. <laughs> Get the fuck, fuck out of here. It was stupid baby as hell. Baby Geniuses sucks. I don't like cats and dogs, but I like a Baby Genius. <laughs> it was so stupid. But I remember I actually liked that one as a kid. Yeah. You know, you know what I was fucking Richard like? It was fucking Master of Disguise. I love that. Actually, I don't think I ever saw that. Richard's like, he, Richard's like, yeah, dude, I'm totally enough for the Turtle Club. Yeah, you would love Masters of Disguise. Right? Masters Ma- of Disguise. We're looking this up right Masters now. Masters of Disguise has one good bit in it. That's the turtle. No. It's the fucking villain who every time he laughs, he farts. That's <laughs> me. He's a flatulist. It's just because like every time they do it, they br- like it's like they uh, like they like they make a mention of it. Like this, like his, it's like. <laughs> Yeah. And then he sits there in silence for a bit. I'll be totally real. I don't. I didn't even know this movie existed until just now. Yeah, it, 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 the, 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 oh, look so up good. Turtle, Master of the Sky's Turtle. That scene was shot while, like, on the day that 9/11 happened. So Dana Carvey figured out that 9/11 happened while dressed up like that. <laughs> oh wow, that's dark. So it was happening while they were filming that. Yeah. That's Maybe insane. it was the reason. Dana Carvey as the turtle. Whoa, look, I glitched it. I feel bad for Dana Carvey. Like, cause like, like him and, him and Mike, like Myers created Wayne's world and they had very similar brands of humor, but Mike Myers got it all while fucking Dana Carvey got like nothing. Yeah. Cause he chose to play Garth. You know I think Garth's really funnier. Movie, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber is awesome. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber is a great movie. Uh, you know what else but is a great movie? How So I Married an Axe Murderer. I never ever saw it's that. An, it's a Mike Myers movie, and it's really funny. Okay. He marries an axe murderer. thing is, though, like, let me go Fucking back. spoiler. I don't know. Dumb and Dumber part. is, like... Dude, that movie's hilarious. It is a hilarious, but it's, like, I think I saw it too many times... That it's like I don't want to watch it again, at least for a little bit. Yeah. So I, I, anytime, I mean, how I feel that way, I watch it. I all then I'll see a clip and I'll be like, no, this movie's fucking so. Are good. you know? What? In that case, I'm watching it tonight. That that. Well, how that, many fucking movies are you watching tonight? <laughs> that, yeah, I'm watching the. Can you watch Sam G-Force? Hyde? <laughs> Doc. Watch a copy. Yeah, Cats vs Dogs. We're watching fucking. <laughs> you, I'm, I'm not sleeping We're watching tonight. Fucking Bugs Life. It's all laid out right now. It's all laid out. It's just movie night after what, movie what's night. What's another? What's another good one? Um, I'll put it this thing. way: out of the list the, I'm making, Dumb and Dumber is at the top right now. My one of my favorite Dumb and Dumber bits is uh, yeah. Let's all name our favorite Dumb and Dumber bit. I'll, uh, I'll my favorite is the mock. Is yeah. the is the um, yeah. him getting the, the determination and then fucking stopping. Oh, oh my god. We landed on the moon! I just love the, the Mockingbird. Mockingbird. Yeah. yeah. Ing. Yeah. yeah. Bird. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think about yeah. my favorite scene yeah. in that movie. Mockingbird. There's a lot of good ones. Don't even have it. Um, I think it's like... I, I assume your Richards is the... Oh, no, they do the dream sequence. No, not... The, oh, I hated oh, that when one. Like, when he, when he punches... When he, when he speed bags the guy's te- balls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's also when he thinks it's like they <laughs> thought it was funny the that he farts and shit. It. Yeah, that that I hated. So it was like, uh, let me think. I wanna, I desperately wanna make love to a schoolboy. <laughs> oh man! Oh no, no, the best bit in the entire movie. I think it was the the bit with sea bass. I really liked, and also the cop, the cop when he pulls them over, and yeah, he drinks, drinks piss. piss. That was the great. We got worms. I got worms. No, no, the best bit, the best bit. Pretty bird. Pretty, oh, pretty, oh, pretty that bird. Was just a blind kid. <laughs> you sold my dead bird to a blind kid. Pretty bird. For how much? <laughs> oh man, Dude, I love, I love the, um, the uh, Harry. You're alive. You're a terrible shot. <laughs> you're a terrible shot. 
Fucking. What, what if they shot me in the? What if they shot him in the face? What if they shot him in the face? Oh, well, that's a risk that we're all willing to take. That was so good, dude. 1994, Jim Carrey. That's yeah, God Jim tier. Carrey was great. Oh, can we be real? Except I did not can like the real? cable guy. That was not okay. 1994. Oh, that's all right. Never mind. What year was that one? 96. I love that movie though. 94. Right, the Jim thing Carrey, is, the reason uh, why I didn't like what's that movie. That Pet Detective. Uh, it, it, 94. Jim Carrey is Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. All right, Pet all those are all three. Right, fuck Mary Kill. Movies. Fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> uh, I'm marrying Dumb and Dumber. I'd probably kill Ace Ventura and I'd fuck The Mask. The mask is funnier than Ace Ventura. Uh, I don't know. I would marry Ace Ventura. Wow. I would marry Ace I Ventura would too, but for two different reasons. The mask and slay fucking Dumb and Dumb. Wow. The mask is the best one. All right, we're ready. We're gonna do a thing right down the middle. Right down. Right. You know, favorite bits from from Ace Ventura and the mask. I can tell you right now. Should I just go right now? Yeah. Okay. So I really fucking love. The um the bit in a uh, Asian churro with the fucking rhino when he's crawling. That's the second one. Oh, that's the second one. Uh, was that also the Monopoly Man one? Yeah. Oh fuck. Maybe the second was better than the, the second first. one is better than the first one. Okay. So wait, what happens in the first one? First one's when they're finding the dolphin, and that's also in the first ones. The oh first... yeah, yeah. No, then kill that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it was Ace Ventura two though. Yeah. Ace Ventura two is a banger. It is. So, but wait, best bit from from one. Uh, bro, I'd have to watch it. My favorite bit is when he's when he's like one small problem, and he goes outside and he goes ah, and he closes the screen door and he's still screaming ah ah ah. <laughs> oh, Proving that they couldn't that hear. Was, that was a good one though. That one was aw that was a really good scene. Yeah. All right, mine. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the cringy thing out of the side, but it was the scene from Can with Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. But that was actually really fucking good, and also. I think the follow up after it though, you know what? when he uh, knocks on the door and he's gonna, like, the guy's the like, what's the password? The <laughs> New England clam chowder. Is it the red or the white? I can never answer, remember that. White? Yeah. And then he like makes his face. That became like a legitimate thing though with my cousin. Yeah. Whenever we entered rooms, we had it locked and that's what we would just say. Yeah. Because we were just a fucking door. So. I like the fucking smoking from fucking the mask. Dude, yeah, the ma uh, dude, the best bit from the mask is his death scene. Oh, I was going to say the, the bomb mask actually bomb. used to creep me out when I was a kid. They call me the mother too. No, but when when they shoot him, and he's just and he's holding and the and the and like the uh like the henchman's holding him, he's like Johnny, yeah. Johnny, I'm sorry. With the big ass teeth. <laughs> that movie was something else. You know what? Here's a really fucking underrated take. Oh, and you already my know it. God, Son of the Mask. Shut the fuck. Yeah, I don't like that one either. Oh, uh, no one does except for me. Yeah, Ace Ventura too though is a be is a better movie. It than is a better. You know movie. what is shit though? Ace Ventura Kid Detective or whatever? Yeah, Ace Ventura Jr. But no, Ace Ventura 2 has like the fucking, it has the um, the bit with the uh, the rhino. It has the slinky one. It has that opening <laughs> when he loses the ferret. In the fucking, in the legs? The spears? Yeah. That, that was so no, funny. when he loses the ferret in the beginning. Yeah. Or when he's the monk in the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's like, I'm ready to leave. Yeah. And then uh, I like the uh, the when he goes in the house and it has like all the animal he heads on the wall. And he's like, ah, wow, this is a wonderful room of death. <laughs> Dude, it was Jim Carrey was such a so fucking funny. Ninety four to like two thousand four was like peak. Yeah. Like, cause he also had what's it called, um, uh, Batman Forever. He had Liar Liar. My liar liar, liar, liar is a fucking banger. Man, forever. Uh, I haven't seen that in a long, long time. You also had uh, me, myself, Irene. Ooh, it's just me, my When's the last time you guys watched that movie? <sighs> Wild. That one is really have, fucking it, good. It, it, it was still the 2000s when I was watching that movie. <laughs> Dude, sure. that movie is so fucking funny. It's a banger. Yeah. My favorite bit is just like his, like, like, like. So like, all, like his wife cheats on him with like a, like a black midget, yeah. And then he has like three like gigantic sons, and he just takes care of them. He doesn't care. Yeah. He just loves them anyway. Yeah. And then like, they, but they're all like geniuses, but they just talk like really like, you know, like street. Mm -hmm. 
And it's like the, but it's like the funniest thing. Like Isaac Newby rolling around his motherfucking name grave. You just try to talk about a conjunction like that, and it's just I don't know. And then they shove like a fucking egg up a guy's ass. I love it. No, all right. I just remembered <laughs> what my favorite Jim Carrey movie was. It wasn't from the nineties though. You're gonna say Bruce Almighty? Yes, I was. Cause I just looked no, it up. come on. That's I, that's uh, that shit tear. No, I like that movie a you, lot. You were I you immediately that. are the kind of person to just watch Evan Almighty immediately. I didn't like Evan movie. Almighty. So how do you not like it? It's the same fucking. It is movie. the same movie, but it's just because Jim Carrey's cool. It's because Steve Carell isn't funny. Yeah, exactly. No, he's Gru. Gru is hilarious. I don't like Despicable Me. Mark does. I don't. But anyway, uh, what's Mark. that like a Jim Carrey? Oh my god, dude, yeah, his the Gr but speaking of Jim Carrey, the Grinch is fucking great. Yeah. Grinch is awesome. And I like, I really like, um, um, Truman Show. I don't think I saw Truman Show. I You've never seen Truman Show? Yeah, yeah, I'm missing Truman. out, so. Truman Show's like, oh, it's fucking next level. banger. Yeah. Do you know what it's about? Let's see here, we're gonna find out. Truman Show's about this guy, Truman, who since birth has been being, his life has been televised, and like the world around him is fake. And oh. people use him as his, as their own entertainment, and he's slowly figuring out that it's all fake. Oh, that's actually kind of an interesting movie. Yeah. I'm gonna check that he out. He was the first social media influencer. Yeah, and there's all, all right. Internal Sunshine of Spotless Mind, another banger. I feel like this is gonna be the movie that makes me feel like, all right, cool. This is this is quality. Because this sounds like an interesting movie, actually. I don't even know if it's funny. It just sounds. Like it is funny. Truman Show. Yeah, it's yeah, funny, but it's, it's dramatic it, funny. It, yeah. Dramatic funny. That's cool. Uh, for me, he though, almost yeah, he was almost nominated for an Oscar for it. But I will say though, I'll, like I didn't get enough time to rag on Kick Cable ass Guy. Too, huh? What were you so, saying, Rich? Oh, my Cable Guy. The reason why I didn't like Cable Guy though, it's not because it's a bad movie, but it's for some reason Jim Carrey's character in that movie reminds me of people that I've known. That's why it's so funny. Yeah, it's that, relatable. Exactly. Like I, we've I'm, all met the Cable Guy. Exactly. It's like we've all met Ryan. But the thing is, I <laughs> I have felt. <laughs> No word has ever been spoken <laughs> so truly. Did you like that banger? Oh my god. Dude, the line the line when he's like, Hey, you better get your sim, sim trunks on, because you're going to be channel surfing in no time. Ah. That's the most Ryan fucking shit. You've never made that comparison? No. Oh my god. Do you know, I think what's funnier is that it's, it's so Ryan and Matthew Broderick is so Jonathan. It's fucking true. Holy oh. shit, I never put that together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Dude, I, I, Cable Guy has like some of my favorite Jim Carrey bits. Cable Guy is great. All like, right. like uh, when he like just buys Matthew Broderick a prostitute, mm -hmm. he doesn't mm -hmm. tell him about it till the next day. <laughs> oh my fucking god. You know what movie I watched for the first time during quarantine, mm -hmm. and I love it? What? It's like one of my faves now. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that bowling movie? Oh, Kingpin? Kingpin. Dude. With Woody Harrelson? Yep. Where he gets his hand fucking rubbed down or whatever. Isn't Bill Murray in it? Uh, or is it Randy Quaid? No, yeah, B Bill Murray's in it. Oh, yeah, Randy Quaid's in it too, right? Yeah, he's the Amish dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. That movie's fucking... Yeah, Kingpin's is fucking hilarious. So good. Do you remember Stuck on You? No. It was about the same team who made Kingpin's, Dumb and Dumber, Me, Myself, Irene. They, uh, it's so stuck on you. Um, you remember the guy from Little Miss Sunshine, the one who, um, the blonde guy? Yeah. Him and Matt Damon are conjoined twins. Oh and there's obviously a great bit where, like, um, like, I think, I think it's, uh, what yeah. What is that twins movie? It's, it's twins with... Dane DeVito. Oh, and, yeah, oh. that movie's awesome. It's, it's totally so banging. stupid, there, but I love it. There's a great bit where, um, what's his face? Uh, the blonde guy from Little Miss Sunshine is, um, is like reading like a paper and, um, and they have like a divider and like Matt Damon's just getting fucking fucked. <laughs> and you just see him. Oh it's, it's really, it, I love it. Stuck on you is great. I think Meryl Streep's in that movie. Really? Yeah. That's, that's wild. Um,. Oh, dude, I, I love the 2000s. Yeah, the 2000s had some of the best comedy. You know, it's a great oh, actually, 2000s. Well, it's actually a late 90s one. A great 90s comedy yeah. was As Good As It Gets with Jack Nicholson. Ooh, I was just about to ask you about another Jack Nicholson movie. Which one? Um, what was it? Anger Management? Yes. Mm. Oh, it's a good one. It's okay. It's pretty... 
I like it. It has enough good bits in it for me to enjoy. I, I, like it has like the, the bit where Woody Al Woody Harrelson's the German prostitute. That and part he, was great. Yeah, he's like, I come from the town of Lickensy Dickens. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I liked I liked the one when I stopped on the highway and they have to sing I feel pretty. I like it when Jack Nicholson takes off his clothes in the bed. He's like, I like sleeping in the nude. Yeah, I like I like I like everything with John John Turturro, where he's having like a fucking a, 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 a hardened like war vet, and he's just like, and he fought in a war that lasted three hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and I love I love the bit with like when like he made when uh when um, Adam makes him like breakfast and then immediately he throws the fucking plate at him he's like I said over easy oh uh, I that part actually startled me when I was a kid and he sits there for a second now why did I do that <laughs> now, why did I do that yeah I, I, I love anger management that's a it is a banger that's one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies uh Ooh, yeah no. let's talk about Adam Sandler before that movies. though Tyler have you seen as good as it gets no you need to see that movie. That is like a movie that is made for you. Okay. Jack Nicholson is like a, a scumbag asshole living in New York, mm -hmm. and he has a, a, a neighbor who is gay, mm -hmm. and he hates him. Mm -hmm. But the neighbor gets beaten up, and they make him take care of his dog. Okay. And that's like the, that's like the basic premise, and it's also Jack Nicholson falling in love with a waitress, and it's like com and they have to go on a road trip, and comedy ensues. That sounds like a he throws a, gar a dog down a garbage chute. What the fuck? He also has OCD. Yeah. It's 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 a funny. It's a really good movie. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, Adam Sandler movies. Adam Sandler movies. Favorite I... Adam Sandler movies. Uncut like, gems. Top top three. Uncut gems. Uncut gems. Is... Uncut gems. It's not my favorite though. I like Punch Drunk the... Love is also really great. Punch Drunk Love is really good. You know which one I love, and it's super underrated. What? The Cobbler. Shut I... up. I. Hate most Adam Sandler movies, but <coughs> Cobbler's great. Anger Management's great. You didn't like the I didn't watch. I didn't watch the Cobbler. Big Daddy's great. Big Daddy's Big Daddy excellent. Excellent. Uh, what else is good by Adam? Uh, uh, Happy Gilmore. Wedding Happy Singer. Gilmore, yeah, the Wedding Happy. Singer's great. I like. Yeah, Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is fucking a banger. Yeah, so is Billy Madison. I, my yeah. my favorite bit from um, Happy Gilmore is the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat shit like, um, no. eat like a piece of shit. You eat pieces of shit. I eat you pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast. <laughs> no, my favorite was when shit. he like, he's no, the <laughs> and he's like, the price is wrong, bitch. Yeah. You know what? I love the guy. You will not make this shot, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was like <laughs> Happy Gilmore. Billy Madison is better though. No, I it's not. Yeah. Tyler, bad. with that, with an opinion like that, we have to start our Adam Sandler podcast again. We have to. Two ninety six. Adam Sandler. For, yeah, we get Adam Sandler on the two ninety six. That's that's the goal. Yeah. If we did Fuck that, everybody else. I think we already be like we would have just careers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but. No, we wouldn't. Oh, oh! I saw that happening. Oh. What's another guy? Uh, Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. I vaguely remember Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds is great. I love the <laughs> my favorite part. Is the, when, the foot? No, when he's he's going down the banister before like a serious scene, and he just crashes into the table, and the girl comes in and makes it a complete serious scene. Yeah. But he's just fucking went down a banister and fucking took out a table. Is Mr. De oh, I remember Mr. Deeds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I my favorite's obviously the foot scene. Yeah, yeah that's the yeah, classic hit it. one. Just hit it. So I can hit it. He stabs it. Oh, what the fuck? You son of a bitch. I'm kidding. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> Honestly, I think Adam Sandler is still fucking hilarious. You know, that, that's exactly what I was thinking was going to happen when I was pushing the fucking punching bag into you earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I fucking... You know what's another great Adam movie is, um... Fucking... Uh... Fucking... Click. Oh, that movie's sad. That movie it's a good is one. so it's, it's a, a good, good one, one but it's fucking sad as hell. But this fucking sucks. I remember I I remember the water boy being funny but I guarantee I you if I watch it now I hate, hate that it. Movie. It's so fucking you know stupid. You want the worst one from him though? But no, the water boy has a good has good bits in it because it has like that fucking bit where he's just like foosball. No, that's not the bells are fucking. It was like, it's like after he has the dinner with the mom and the mom says he can't play football and he's like and he's just like yeah you know what mama didn't said I couldn't get a a, a tattoo of fucking this guy, 
And he pulls down his pants, shows him his ass, and, and, the, and the guy's face is tattooed on his ass. Well, Mama doesn't know. Won't hurt her. I think he'll make the right decision. <laughs> like, that's a good bit. That is a pretty good bit. But I do hate that movie a lot. Yeah. But it's like, I will say, there's another one that's just like it that he did that I fucking can't stand, and it's Little Mickey. I love Little oh, Mickey. I oh, know, dude, Little Mickey. <laughs> I hate that fucking Part movie. Part of my kitchen is the shit in it. What was the dog's name? Spike? Yeah. Uh, his fucking giant balls. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was actually fucking... I mean, Yo, Quentin Tarantino's in that movie. Is oh, he really? He's he's the blind, um, the blind fucking, um, priest. Really? Oh, for yeah. real. Oh, yeah, the one that falls down the chute. Yeah. <laughs> that movie was just, like, Hitler the getting the final it, Honestly, with the music, <laughs> but... Because yeah. it had, like, Power Man 5000 and shit, but it was, like... It was so good. It was Dude, so yeah. corny. It was just. But that was the best part about it. Yeah. Like it wasn't trying to take itself fucking yeah. serious. I think that's my weird thing. Are we just gonna beat this fucking game? Yes. We have to. <laughs> okay. Like I'm having a great fucking time. The thing about I think uh, so you know you know me I'm like always hypercritical with like movies, oh, yeah. like dramas no, and like horror. Fuck you. Yeah. Where it's like I'm like always hypercritical. But I think with my problem when I talk about comedy is that I just like good bits. Yeah. So if a movie, like a movie could suck, like Waterboy could be like the worst movie ever, but I'll still like, yeah, I'll watch it because it has good bits in it. Like when he's in fucking college and he was like, alligators are angry because they don't got no toothbrush and all those teeth. And then the fucking he fights the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> like that's such a good fucking bit. What about the one where, uh, what's his name goes, <laughs> that is correct. And he's just getting naked. That's in Billy Madison. Oh yeah, yeah, Bill. Why, why am I getting this fucking mixed up? Yeah, Billy, Billy Madison. Madison. Chris, when Chris Farley's like, that is correct. correct. <laughs> O'Doyle o rules? Come yeah. on. Yeah, no, my, my favorite bit, and I think Billy Madison, is the bit when he's like, um, it's Chris Farley, and he's just like, that girl is grade A. I know from experience. No, you don't. Yeah, well, I know a guy who yeah. does. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, Everyone on the bus! <laughs> Oh my gosh! This is terrifying! Yeah. Fucking Kevin Spacey's trying to touch kids over here. What the <laughs> fuck? Look at him! Ah! Yeah. Oh. Kevin Spacey favorite favorite Kevin Spacey movie? movie? American Beauty. Mm, yeah. The you know which one I also like? Or LA Confidential. Good. Confidential's good. What was the one where he was an alien? K Pax? That was a good one, too. The I thought you were going to say Beyond the Sea. The Usual Beyond Suspects? Beyond the Sea, Bobby Darren. That's a good Beyond one. Beyond the Sea. Yeah, what Richard, a good movie. Richard said Usual Suspects, which is a great, that's a banger. Also, what was the other one? It was somewhere. You know, you know that Adam Sandler was almost in Inglorious Bastards? Oh, as the Bear Jew? Yeah, he was going to do it, but uh, scheduling conflicts between that and Funny People. And they got Eli Roth to do it? Yeah. yeah. Funny People has like one of the best first acts and then the and then the third oh, act destroys fucking, the movie. I want to see him as the bear Jew now, though. It's just I can see him doing that. Right. It's so just like it's perfect casting. It's perfect casting, especially that scene where he fights them. It's like yeah, because I can see him doing the fucking the Adam Sandler like voice. <laughs> Knocked him out of the park, Fairway Park. Yeah. All right, I guess we're. Oh my! Like, Canyon movie. Showdown. Let's do it. Let's do it. all right. I have that movie on DVD. Like, Are you gonna watch that tonight? Too? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta six. If I'm gonna pick a movie, it's not. Uh, I you gotta watch the Sam Hyde doc. I yeah, I that's know the I one. know. Out of anything, watch the Sam Hyde. Doc. Well, I don't. I want to watch like an actual movie, like something that that's fun. Like, the Sam Hyde doc is it's, fun. It's really fun. It's like 45 minutes. It's worth it. Okay. Use it as like a tester. You want? You know? All right. You want to know what I was uh, like? What I actually have been watching though, like. What? Uh, classic cartoons. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I've just been watching, like, old Felix the Cat kind of shit. In, like... Oh, like, the black and white shit? Yeah, black and white stuff. I've been watching that before bed, really. I don't know why, but, like, I mean, I get a lot of nostalgia with classic cartoons, because, like, when I was a little kid, my dad used to have, like, a, like compilations of them on VHS. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just, like, you know, Van Buren, Max Fleischer, all these people, like... Yeah. You know, and it was, like... You just gotta sit there. Some of them were pretty creepy. Like, actually, I was like, what the f- What you know is what? this? We're going to the last boss, because Mark is sick of this shit. I didn't say that. You blew me a little kiss, I saw it. 
Speaking of classic cartoons, remember? I got a gorilla for sale. Gorilla for sale. Gorilla for sale. I got a gorilla, gorilla for sale. sale. Gorilla for sale. That was a great one. Fucking boomerang was the shit. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> okay, boomer. Fucking. Frank. Aw, oh, man. I'll just say, this is. I have this friend of mine that's a totally obsessed with classic rock. That's like all he <laughs> listens to. Yeah. And all, all of our other friends, we just be like, okay, boomer. And he gets so mad whenever we're like, okay, boomer, too. <laughs> Over it. You gotta call him a, Zab a Zaboomer Fru. If you were, if you're gonna have a threesome with the Scooby Gang, who would you pick? A, a threesome? Yeah. Daphne, Daphne and, and Elmo. Elmo. Huh. <laughs> like, Yo, I no one's picking Scrappy Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say real quick? Velma is like actually like a fucking childhood crush of mine. Yep. Everyone's. Like animated Velma or live action Velma? Those Both are two different fun. Velmas. Both. 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 I was never attracted to animated Velma, but I was, I was, I would, I would kill for Linda Cardielli. Basically. But here's, so hot. the thing is that- Linda Cardielli is one of the most beautiful women ever yep. live. Here, but here's the she unpopular was, uh, opinion Beach, again. Right? Mm -hmm. I fucking hate Scooby-Doo, but I, I, I like the characters. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. Scooby-Doo is just like, <laughs> Scooby-Doo is not a cartoon that was made for children. I know. It's, <laughs> You watch it, okay. and it's like, okay, he is clearly high. That's what a pup named Scooby-Doo was for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Do you remember show. that one? It's a good show. What I about do. the Monster Academy? Scooby-Doo Monster Academy? Mm -hmm. The one where Shaggy wore a red shirt? I do, yeah, I remember that. He became a werewolf, man! That was some fucking wild shit, bro. The thing is, I didn't really like that era of Hanna-Barbera. I don't like Hanna-Barbera. For real. Yeah. I mean, I fucking love Tom and Jerry. I'm more of a Filmation man myself. Filmation? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Uh, there's a company called Filmation that oh. was rivaling Hanna Barbera. And I oh, for real? What, what do they do? They did the Groovy Ghoulies. Mm -hmm. He Man, which I don't like He Man, but they did He Man. I do like He Man. I don't like He Man, but uh, they did it. He Man was stupid, but I like it. What else do they do? Oh, what the fuck else did they do? I might be, I might be fucking just lying to you. Oh, they did the Ghostbusters, but like the fake one, the one with the gorilla. Uh, the real oh. Ghostbusters? They also did all the DC animated shows, other than Super Friends. Oh, uh, I mean, really the only thing you mentioned to me that I like right now is He-Man, so... Yeah, the Groovy Ghoulies was fucking awesome. Uh, they also did, um... Aquaman. They did the Star Trek animated series, the Archie show. They oh, did Tom Archie. and Jerry. Gilligan's Planet. Sequel to Gilligan's Island. Is it like live action or cartoon? Cartoon gross. Ah. This is a hard fight. Yeah. It's me versus Branch. Here's a story. A lovely lady. Who is bringing up three very lovely girls? Why did everyone want to All fuck of them at Miss Brady when Alice was there? Like her mother, Alice is a slam piece. The youngest that. one in curls. Here's a story. You have to be. You have to be Brady, Brady, who was bringing up three boys of his own. Yep. They were four men living all together. And all That's the way we all became Alice. the Brady Bunch. That Brady show Bunch. is something else. That show is fucking awesome. It is awesome. The movie? The movie is so wacky. That movie, that movie is incredible. <laughs> oh my the, god. My favorite, my one of my favorite bits from the show is when Marsha is like, Hey guys, come inside. And they head over the front like, Ah, Fucking the Brady Bunch is... <laughs> Brave Bunch is fucking great. Remember that? I always, like, every time, remember that episode when they fucking go to Hawaii and they get they, they get cursed by the fucking ancient fucking thing? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, man. It's, it was so... Oh, it was really a product of its time. I just touched your leg by accident. It's, fi it's fine. I don't care. I like to oh. suck each other off. Don't uh, I can't get... I'm trying to find the actual like pressure point. Oh stop! <laughs> you got it right there. Fucking bitch! Fucking bitch They're ass! Dude. They're kissing. They're fighting game kissing. You ticklish bitch! I'll fucking tickle you, but oh They're kissing. <laughs> Wait, look out! Oh, oh no! Our table! It's, it's broken. broken. Imagine if you weren't recording this whole time. <laughs> oh, I thought we were just having fun. Yeah, I thought we were just playing. uh... <laughs> having some goofs. Dude, I'm having a great time with this game. It's just this fucking log. 
Yeah. It's a fucking rogue. Yeah. What? Well, it was one of yous. <laughs> Disgusting. No, it goes. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know who I think is overrated? Who? Eddie Murphy. Oh, absolutely. Oh. I hate you. I do like coming to America. Though. I do. Everyone coming loves. To America. Everybody. Coming does. to America. I never. I've never seen Beverly Hills Cop one. But Beverly Hills Cop two was fine. I don't like the Nutty Professor. <laughs> Me neither. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Just wrong. I don't like. I like Norbit. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I, I was gonna say, fuck off. Um, uh, I like I, Daddy Daycare, banger. Oh man, I I forgot that was even a movie. And I think that's all I've seen. Oh, the haunt, I saw the Haunted Mansion. I did not particularly enjoy. Um, let's see here. What's your favorite Mike Myers film? Oh, dude, it's funny because I fucking hate Do you Mike want me Myers. To say Shrek 2 again? I think I think Austin Powers One is funnier. Than Shrek Two? I don't know. Yeah. Awesome Powers is like one of those like oh my god this is really absurd. That one it just has so many it's another one it's so many good fucking bits. It's terrible but I'm gonna pick it. I, I would say Austin Powers. I really you know you know what movie hasn't aged with me though. It's Wayne's World. I, mean, I never liked Wayne's World. Wayne's World I liked it when I was a kid. Right now if someone asked me to watch it I would just tell them the hardest no of all no's. Yeah. So. It's just I I don't I know Austin awesome, I think people forget how many good bits are in the Austin awesome Powers movies. Austin awesome Powers great. There there's like some genuinely phenomenal bits. Yeah. Like like and when like when they go to one the one of them is just a pissing bit. Yeah no but like the, the my favorite bit is when Doctor Evil and Scott go to the uh, the, the family counseling. Oh yeah, well oh, that's good. And he's just like and he just recounts his father's like, like story and he's just like no and he's just talking about his father. And he was like, "Well, I had a, I had a, no, a childhood like everyone. I, I grew up in Belgium, and uh, you know my father would beat me every day and shave my testicles, and, uh, <laughs> and he's like, my father would woman eyes. He would drink. He'd walk around making outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. And I, said, I don't. It's just such a good bit. Uh, I love um, I love the uh, like the." The, uh, the thing with Austin, uh, when he says, Hey, how are you? Hi, do I know you? No, but that's where you are. You're there. <laughs> and I like, uh, I love the bit when he's like, um, when he, like, Who does number two work for? That's right, like, buddy. Tell that turd who's boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Austin Powers since so I was a kid. Dude, it's it was, so I remember there was this one scene. Good. It was like... She had like a like just like machine gun tits or something. No, they yeah, them. yeah, the it's, it's a fembots. The fembots. Yeah. I just saw that when I was a kid, and I was just like, Yeah, we all named the fembots. Well, because th that's a good bit because they're trying to fuck him to death, and he's just trying desperately not to get hard, and he's just like baseballs, cold showers, baseball, cold showers, and it's like, and then it shows like the girl's leg, and she's like, he can't resist Mr. Powers, like. Thatcher naked on a cold day. Macho Thatcher naked on a cold day. <laughs> I also like when like uh, Velocity is like, um, no, it's not Velocity. It's Vanessa, and she's like, she like, like Austin's watching like these videos and reading these books about what happened in the last like thirty years, and she's like, all the all the crazy things that happened in the last thirty years. It kind of it's crazy that like put, put it in perspective. He's like, yeah, and I can't believe R Liberace was gay. I mean, women loved him. <laughs> It's like it's a movie just full of good bits. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.